heyo, it's Bebo. So I didn't actually have my first official relationship until my sophomore year of high school and honestly it set me up for horrible expectations after this train wreck ended. So what I'm about to share just barely scratches the surface of what this girl has done to me and this is already going to be a two-parter so I'm just not going to have time to share it all. I met this girl in my cardio health class and at my school all the PE classes met in the same gym so we didn't have enough time to talk and when I did I just barely got the courage to even say hello. So for the story we're just going to call her Hope and I remember talking to my friend one time and just being like wow Hope is really cute but I'd never date her or anything. I'm not really sure why I said that. I think I just had really low self-esteem and just didn't think I had a chance and was afraid of getting rejected so I guess I just pretended I wasn't really interested. Eventually I don't remember how but we started talking and one day she invited me to lunch. Even though this was the first time we we're hanging out I told her a lot of personal things and I just kind of felt like we bonded over it. I actually had a really nice time with her except at one point I remember this guy came up and he started sitting with us randomly and I just kept talking to Hope and I mentioned yeah I've just never really been in a relationship because I've never met any girls who actually date other girls at the school. Wait you're a lesbian? Uh yeah. Ah, damn. Eventually, he squirmed away, and me and her actually had a lot of time to hang out because on this particular day, school ended after lunch because of a school football game. All was going really well, actually, and I was starting to think I might have a chance with this girl now. So all was going well until she decided to play this fun little game called... Well, it's not really called anything, it's just a game where she tried to kiss as many people as she could in one night. So this not only should have been my first red flag, but just a subtle way of saying, it's not gonna happen. And that's where I was at, and till we were grabbing something from her friend's car and then she turned around and kissed me. Okay, to be fair, this was my first kiss, so I was just caught up in a moment and I couldn't help but be swooned. Okay, yeah, I used the word swoon, sue me, okay? You try to think of a better word. And I'm not gonna lie, at this moment, I was feeling that I might have a chance again. That was until she continued her little game. After this, she asked me to make out with her and I kindly rejected because I just wasn't there yet. So then she started sucking on this guy's face and his name is gonna be Jack and he's gonna be important later on the story so just remember his name. This was really awkward for me. I was literally just sitting down while my friend was making out with some guy right next to me. Not only my friend, but someone I had a really big crush on within that night had been kissed by her. After Jack left, she asked if I wanted to spend the night at her house, and I respectively said, Yes. Bad view. No. Don't do that anymore, okay? We waited at the front of the school to be picked up by her mom, and unfortunately Jack had found us, and they started making out yet again. Again, I was just sitting there awkwardly, and I got so uncomfortable, I actually texted my dad and asked him to pick me up. This was probably one of the only smart decisions I made while I was with Hope. I then contradicted my action by texting her the next night and telling her I was sorry for leaving and confessing my feelings to her. And surprisingly, she told me she felt the same way. I was so happy at the moment, I could not see the train wreck I was about to get myself into. So fast forward to the next day, and we're walking together in cardio health class, and she got down on one knee like she was proposing to me, and then asked me to be her girlfriend. Like, okay, this is so weird. I don't know what's wrong with me. At the time, I thought that was like the cutest thing ever. The following week, I get a text message from her asking me to meet her early in the morning, and she wanted to give me something. When I got there she handed me this little painted blue egg with spots on it and asked me to open it. Inside of the egg was a note and the note read, Do you like to eat people? Me neither. But luckily for those of you who do, for the first time since 1933 we've been able to slip past, I mean put this product back on the market completely legally. What is the product you may ask? Well it's canned human meat of course. Cannibal. You wouldn't believe what we can can. Ears? We can can it. Arms? We can can it. Eyes? Believe it or not, it's cannibal. Buy it in stores now for a limited time. Insert generic outro here. Okay, so obviously that's not what it said, but I'm going to save that part for part two. And I promise there's so much more crazy to come, so just wait. Also, I hope some of you like the little commercials. They're really fun to make, and if you hate them, then sorry. <laughs> Uh, they're going to be in every video for now on, so if you don't like it, then I mean just skip through it if you don't like it.